Hello everyone, my name is Azatru, how are you? And welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 Mod Showcase video, and it is the Top 5 Mods of the Week, Episode 199. And in this video I've got 5 awesome mods, plus a few honourable mentions. There were so many mods made this week, but unfortunately I cannot cover them all because I'm still ill from Covid and I just don't have the energy to cover them all but I did manage to cover a lot of them so let's take a look at them. And just before we do make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss next week's episode. So the first honourable mention is the Imperial Commander Cody mod from Mank Demery and Honid. This mod is a completely custom design based on what an Imperial Commander Cody could look like. It replaces Iden Versio so you can play on the Imperial side in instant action and online with this Imperial Commander Cody and as you can see it's got this really awesome custom model. I love the helmet, it's really well done. It also includes a custom portrait image for the collection and respawn menus. I think it's great to see these custom designs made by artists come to life in Battlefront 2 with mods. Next up is the Seventh Sister from Degil Nox. So this mod replaces Darth Maul with the Seventh Sister from Star Wars Rebels. And it's got this really awesome, well-made custom model. It's been created from scratch to try and make her look how she would in live action. And it's really well done. It includes a custom portrait image for the collection and respawn menus, along with custom text edits in the menus as well. Crosshair is the next honorable mention, and this is coming from Mank Demery again. So this mod replaces Finn with Crosshair. It includes two skins, so you have his appearance with his helmet on. It's really well done. Great custom modeling work going on here. And there is also the under-helmeted version as well, so you can see Crosshair's face. There is a custom portrait image for the collection and respawn menu, and there is also a custom weapon mesh for his blaster, which is great to see. This is a live-action interpretation of Crosshair. It is not identical to what he looks like in the Clone Wars, but I really do like it. So the last honourable mention is the Plo Koon mod from Claymaver 2000. So this mod replaces either Obi-Wan or Luke with Plo Koon. Now it depends which one you want. There are two optional files to choose from to replace Luke or Obi-Wan. In this gameplay, I'm using Obi-Wan. So you can use him on the Republic for the prequel instant action. It comes with various skins to choose from. You have the default appearance, then the robed appearance, and there is also the Clone Wars inspired appearance as well. And these have been made from scratch. They're really well done. I love them. Phenomenal work going on here. There is also a custom portrait image for the collection and respawn menus. There is even custom audio files, so that replaces the emotes, and I'll share a taste of it right here. All hatred is self-hatred. You must know your enemy as you know yourself. A Jedi's lightsaber is his constant companion. Before you can master your enemy, you must first master yourself. On to the top five countdown, and kicking things off in fifth place this week is the Sith Empire Troopers from Degil Nox. So this mod replaces the Imperial Stormtroopers with the Sith Empire from Star Wars The Old Republic. Inspired by the Star Wars The Old Republic models, these new ones have been created from scratch and look absolutely fantastic. You have various skins for the Assault, Heavy, Officer and Specialist classes. Just those little different colour indications for each class is a real nice touch and another very nice touch included as well is the custom weathering textures so the models will get environmental weathering depending which map so if you're on Hoth for example snow will build up on the armor just like Dice's models same goes for sand so if you're on Tatooine same goes there and it's just those little key differences that make it stand out from some other mods. In fourth place this week, I've got the PMIA Django Fett from Dagul Nox and the Spartan CV. So this mod introduces a complete brand new hero into Star Wars Battlefront 2, which is compatible with instant action and private matches. Yes, that's right. If you know how to use Kyber and a server is running this mod, you can use this mod online. And it's not just Boba Fett reskinned, no. It is a brand new hero, so you have this awesome custom model, but it also has brand new abilities as well. So as you can see, you get to use the jetpack, the saber darts, and the wrist flamethrower. You even get dual pistols. The dual Westar 35 pistols are included with custom sound effects you can hear right now. 
Django Fett also includes a passive ability that happens all the time, and this is interrogation. So, as a highly trained bounty hunter, when defeating someone, Django Fett's melee will reveal a nearby enemies. It does come with a custom portrait image for the collection and respawn menus, along with a custom icon for the dual pistols in the respawn menu as well. Overall, this mod is great. This is the definitive way to play Django Fett online and in instant action. In third place this week, I've got the Darth Traer mod from Deggy or Nox. So this mod replaces Emperor Palpatine with this incredibly made model. It's been built from scratch and it takes inspiration from what she looked like in KOTOR 2. And this version is what she may look like in a remastered version of KOTOR 2. There is a custom portrait image to go with it for the collection and respawn menus. And there are two skins to choose from. So you have the hooded variants and the hoodless version as well. What I do like is the fact that there are floating lightsabers around her when you are playing as Palpatine. That's just really cool to see. There is a bunch of text edits in the menus, plus custom star card images as well, which all look very, very good. There is custom music, so for the intro and outro of her, it's been replaced with music from KOTOR 2. And overall, this is just a really immersive mod. It's really well done. The so runner-up for this top five Mods of the Week episode is... The Darth Revan mod from Deggy or Nox. So this mod replaces Kylo Ren with Darth Revan and it's an absolutely incredible custom model that is based on his KOTOR remake appearance. It is insane. It looks fantastic and it includes a bunch of immersive features as well. So you get the custom lightsaber hills, you get the text edits in the menus, a custom portrait image for the collection and respawn menus. There is even custom music as well. So it takes a theme from KOTOR and adds it for the intro and outro. On top of all of this, the mod includes a bunch of different options to customize how Revan should look to your taste. So you can choose the color of his primary lightsaber or his secondary lightsaber, the different hilts, plus the various different skins, whether it be the Majestic Paladin, Eternal Guardian, or Prodigal Knights. It's really well done and I just love the amount of content in this. And the winner of this top five Mods of the Week episode is the Dagobah Swamp mod from Jedi Player. So this mod replaces Yavin 4 with Dagobah. Brand new map and it is great to see. I know a lot of people have wanted to see Dagobah in Star Wars Battlefront 2 as a map. And despite the limitations with Battlefront 2's modding tools, it does a really good job of trying to recreate the atmosphere of Dagobah. You have things around the map such as the trees... Yoda's Hut, and of course, the Red Five. Also, this mod can be used online with private matches if the server you have joined supports it, is running it. We've seen people play this online with multiple people. It's insane that now we can have our own custom maps used online. So yes, that is a thing. Which mods were your favourite this week? Be sure to let me know down in the comment section below and remember to download each of these mods using the download links in the description just below the like button. And remember to vote for your favourite mods in the community tab poll that's live on my channel right now. Just head on over, go to the community tab and vote and I will reveal the results in next week's episode. And now let's take a look at the results of the poll that you participated in last week. So with just over 2,000 votes, the deformed Return of the Jedi Storm Trip took 46%. Then in second place was the Instant Action Hero Padme Amidala mod with 28%. And then in joint third place was Padme Amidala 2 and Grey and Styles. And then in fifth place with 5% was the Star Tours Sky Troopers. Next week is the 200th episode and I know there's going to be some awesome mods. So make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss it. And drop a like if you did enjoy this video and check out any of the previous episodes that you've missed by clicking the playlist on screen right now and I shall see you in my next Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. Goodbye.